Hey there, everybody. It's Jenny Clark with Solvability. And today's Freedom Friday, I've got my friend and just superstar team member, Chris McPhee. And Chris, I'm so excited that you're here. And you are, you're my camera guy, right? Yes, I am your camera guy, Jenny. And we, I've been that guy for some time now. I think we've been together for a year now, right? A, we have. We, we have like a one year anniversary uh, have passed. Oh, I'm celebrating that because, um, you know, I was planning last year for GovCon Summit, which was live in Tampa, March 11th and 12th. And, uh, you know, I'm learning all these things. And I got somebody reached out on LinkedIn and said, you know, do you need video? And I'm like, Chris, I can't afford video. And he's like, I think you need to understand a little bit more about what you can do with it. And so we came to an agreement. He and a buddy drove all the way from Virginia down to Florida, showed up, I gave him a giant hug. And then we we got started going and every once in a while during the summer, he'd, he'd tap me on the shoulder, he said, Jenny, I need to tell you something. And he'd tell me something that really made a difference in how the whole event came off because of the video that we captured. So the reason we're having Chris, our camera guy on today is because he's taught me so much about how to apply video and I know that Freedom Friday is working because me and Russ and Emily, so we're going to start doing it. And Chris was always in the back of that scene saying, here's what we can do. We're going to do a YouTube channel. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And so, Chris, I would just love it if you would start talking about your background, how you got here, and um, how you help people move forward. Definitely, Jenny. Thank you for this opportunity and, and, and good afternoon to all of you, Emily, uh, Cindy, Russ, and some familiar faces um, that I know and, and everybody who's new here to Freedom Fridays. This is your first time. I'm glad to, to be here and to see you. So I'm going to jump in the time machine. I know we've all seen the Back to the Future and, and we're going to jump in my DeLorean and, and go back in time a bit and where it all started for me. So I'm a retired U.S. Army veteran, uh, retired in 2015, uh, transitioned out. I worked as an intel analyst uh, for a couple of years and just trying to figure out what I want to do with my life after the military. And folks uh, on this channel of Freedom Friday, like Emily Harmon and Russ Barnes have talked about that a lot, especially when I was at GovCon, I heard a lot of stories about trying to figure out what you wanted to do. So after deploying to Kuwait over and over, yes, I was making a lot of money as an Intel analyst, helping uh, uh, soldiers on the ground like I was um, fighting a war in Afghanistan and Iraq, uh, but I felt I needed something else and I didn't want to be in that position for the next 20 years because I already lived that life physically, but I was still there mentally. So I just, I quit that job. And I decided I was gonna use my skills as a, as, as a surveillance and, and co intel collection operator during my years as a Green Beret uh, with video and lighting. Most of, my, most of my photos that I took was uh, at night. So it's great to have light now and, and light is great because we could see each other and images are beautiful. So I decided to just take my camera out of my surveillance kit and start shooting photography and, and just self teaching myself how to shoot photography through watching a ton of YouTube videos, which I started while I was working as an analyst to just decompress from reading Intel reports 12 hours a day as a contractor now. So uh, in the government space, you know, I worked as, as a government contractor and, and learning that, uh, how to operate in that environment. But, but I cut loose and I started out with photo and video, um, did some photo in Washington DC area where I was at for an up and coming rock band. So I spent a year and a half just learning how to shoot video, how to shoot photography in dive bars in DC on U Street, you know, and Adams Morgan, you know, out in, in, in that, in all these places where this band would go and play because they were up and coming. So that dive bars in low light is the worst place to shoot video and photography. If you know anything about photography, those are the hardest places to shoot uh, uh, photo and video because you can't control the light. So 
that's the biggest thing that I've learned about photography is how much control um, that you need to have or you don't have, but still make a beautiful image. So I find myself, it was actually January 1st of 2020, I was in the Bunker Labs VIR in Washington, DC. They have a partnership with uh, the Veterans and Residency Program with WeWorks. And one of my objectives as a business owner, uh, my business is called Green Beret Media and I help people promote and inform and inspire their audience to buy their product services as a result or product services and, and attend their special events through video and photos. So I was like, one of my objectives, I wanna shoot a conference. I, I need to shoot a conference because I've helped other photographers do that, but I wanna do one myself. And I got online and, and before the camera guy, I was deep into project management and I'm still am. So all of you know, Eric Doc Wright, I met him on LinkedIn in 2017 before I even met Jenny. So we had that relationship online and he happened, his camera guy was Rich Cardona who I knew from Bunker Lab. So I saw a post, I commented on it and all of a sudden, here's Jenny like, hey, I saw you commented on our post. Uh, who are you? I was like, well, I'm Chris McPhee, and I see you're having a conference. That was intentional. <laughs> Just to let you know, because I knew Eric Doc Wright, and I knew Rich Cardone. That was an intentional progression for me. It was the first day of the year, and I was like, I have to do this. So Jenny and I, I actually went back this morning. It was January 1st. 2020 at 8.07 a.m., Jenny and I are having this dialogue in a messaging chat, and I say, look, you know this guy, I know this guy, I know they're, they're at your event, but I have something different. And she's like, oh, really? I was like, yeah, can I tell you about it? And she's like, yeah, so we had a conversation that afternoon about in an evening when she was done with her day, and we had about a 30-minute conversation, and boom, after it was done, I was coming to GovCon, GovCon and so here I am, part of the, the small business GovCon crew, Jenny, and thank you for taking a chance and opening that door to let me show you uh, what can I do to help you. Well, what's fascinating to me, Chris, is how far we've all come in that year, and when you talk about <clears throat> intention, Deciding what you really want to do is a big part of what you were talking about that made you decide, I don't want to keep working in this area. I'm going to teach myself how to do video. And you did it by figuring it out, failing, repeating over and over again. And so often we're looking for somebody to say, well, go read this booklet, go watch this read YouTube, go listen to this podcast. And you spend all kinds of time listening to other people doing it. And you just said, I'm not listening to anybody else do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it my way. I'm doing it now. Yeah. Yeah. So that's mindset. That's awareness. That's intentional. And that to me is like, that's how you manifest your future. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I think what's really cool about it is you've also got a lot of other things going on. And one of the things is you're, you're part of the Rosie network, right? Yes, I am. Yes, Tell I am. What the Rosie uh, network is and, and what you're doing and how that works. So the Rosie Network is an organization nonprofit that helps originally started for military spouses to help them uh, start a business because the military spouse is traveling abroad with their active duty member and it's very hard to get settled. So the military spouse is, is at a disadvantage and also helping them maintain their identity as a person. So Stephanie Brown, the CEO of the Rosie Network, created this organization for that, but they also have the Service to CEO program, which helps veteran entrepreneurs and military spouses work together to start and you know grow and develop their businesses. So just this year, we launched a third chapter called the Valor Chapter, which is focuses on, on diversity and, and entrepreneurs of color to put them in front of those opportunities and open some of those doors and, and help them grow. Once again, military spouses and veterans. And I, I'm a Rosie Network alumni. 
I probably was one of the first all, you know, first male veteran military spouse because my my wife is active duty and she's the first sergeant here at Fort Hood where we're stationed now. So uh, they asked me to be a chapter lead. So now I'm a chapter lead. Our first class is actually kicking off next week. So I will continue to help and I enjoy, we were on a call a couple of weeks ago. I realized listening to Emily over the last year and Russ Barnes and, and, and Josh and all everybody who's talked on this channel and that I just enjoy helping people right now. So for 2021, that's all I'm doing. You know, I started a business government contracting in 2012. I still do that as an independent contractor. I still coach, teach, and mentor special operators abroad. And, and, and I've been doing that since I started in 2012. And I do group great media. So we have no conferences going, but I'm still having people online. And with project management, I'm also consulting with other companies via Zoom. So thank, thank the Lord we have Zoom. But my other thing is I want to help people in this space that are having difficulties getting started during the pandemic and they we don't have that face to face anymore so uh, people out there need folks like us to come in and help them and be their guides and so that's what I'm, i have 10 i have 10 students right now so i will be guiding them and and i would also like to plug it right now is that i have a link for the SME application I will share with you. So if you want to volunteer three hours of your time based on our, our modules, you're more than welcome to come and impart some wisdom and some life experiences to the students in my class. And I would really appreciate that. Well, and there's so many ways to interact. And what you showed me is when we started doing video, we could repurpose a lot of it. And that's the other big part of creativity. I don't really feel like I'm creative when it comes down to, you know, artwork or music or any of that stuff. And I love to be around somebody that's into it because then I don't have, I don't have to do all this work. And um, yeah. what you showed me how to do is take um, the content we'd already created and tell the story a different way. And then there's podcasting, the YouTube that you've helped me with. It's, it's like so powerful. What we're all trying to do right now, if you think about it, is we're trying to amplify the voices of ourselves and others. That's the purpose of GovCon Summit is to bring people that mostly have a background with the military, a lot of veterans, a lot of military spouses, or somebody like me that's just plain old Navy brat, that um, we just know the lingo. And when you say we were stationed there, or we did this or we did that, it's like, I'm, I'm listening. That's my language. I know what you're talking mm -hmm. about. So one of the other things that I really like about you, Chris, is you've got a podcast. And yes. I think it's just fabulous when, I, when, I, um, when I'm driving around it'll flip through different podcasts and you're always having, having conversations with people. And I love how you open it with, let's just jump in the DeLorean. Well, how did you come up with the idea for your podcast? Who are you trying to reach? And what can we do to make it help you do that? So, so actually podcasting came to me before I even started uh, working with a camera. I met a, a gentleman while I was working a contract in Kuwait and he was a podcaster and he interviewed veteran entrepreneurs and, and talked to them about uh, their successes and failures. And he called it, it's called the AAR podcast, the after action review podcast. So he's interviewing these veteran entrepreneurs and I'm watching him every day and he's like, He's like, I got a podcast. I was like, what's that, man? This is 2017. I'm clueless to a podcast. You know, I, I'm a soldier. I'm, you know, I'm a commando. Like where I'm like major, major pain. You know, there's no more killing the dude. Like it's over, you know, <laughs> <laughs> life is over for me. So, so he started teaching me about podcasts. Little did I know he was just getting started. So long story short, he's like, you need a mic. I bought a blue Yeti. And the scariest thing was just talking into the mic and trying to say something and, and know you're talking to yourself and nobody's listening. So that was the scariest thing. And, and little by little, uh, it wasn't until 2019 when I launched it, but after listening to folks like him and Gary Vee and then understanding what podcasts are, 
uh, and Pat Flynn and all these podcasts and Tim Ferriss. I read his book, Tools of Titans, and he wrote a book off his podcast. So, you know, once I started researching him and I started learning, once again, watching YouTube, sitting at my desk, trying to unplug from being an analyst um, is how I learned about podcasting. So, so my goal, I, I wrote, recorded one episode and I wanted to focus on the project manager's lifestyle and, you know, have this script and, you know, talk to project managers. And I recorded one episode and I was like, you know what, this is not really what I think. So I sat on it, deployed to Kuwait one more time, came back a year and I launched it. And I said, I'm just going to do one show a month and I'm going to call it the Team Room Talk podcast because as a Green Beret, the team room is like our safe haven, is our room, or, you know, where we go. And that's where all our gear is. But when the conversations that are had, like here on Freedom Friday, we talk about everything. We talk about our kids. We talk about our wife. We talk about, you know, what's making us sad, what's making us happy. And so that's how I developed the podcast around my real life experience of what I experienced in the team room and just learning, uh, learning how to interview, learning how to pose questions, learning how to ask people like, how did that make you feel? And let them talk. So I had to learn how to be an interviewer. And it was on another show that I was invited to in New York, they had something called the Saucy Bowl and they would drop little nuggets in it and things like that. And, and I developed that. So when you hear people say, if you ever listen to the podcast, I ask people to put something in the kit bag for me, something that has helped you. And it's their time to give a little short mentorship session of what has helped them along their life. And for me, I think everybody can relate to Back to the Future. So that's why I always use it because it pulls you in. I'm like, hey, you, it's way my quickest way to connect with you. I could have used some other thing, but I'm going back in time because I'm telling you a story and thanks to Jenny Clark, we had an awesome time with Scott Mann learning how to articulate our stories and be a storyteller and, and figure out what we need to do and letting all this energy come out of us and really engage with our audience. And, and that's one thing I watched Russ Barnes at GovCon behind the camera and listening to him. And I've listened to Emily talk about being authentic. And then I listened to Josh Frank talk about celebrating your successes and, and, and Mike Lejeune and Eric Doc Wright, they're dynamic speakers and they, especially Eric Doc Wright, he's so much energy. He just reaches in and like, hey, you know, he tries to grab you. So so the, just over the time, I'm just learning and, and just watching and learning from everybody and trying to emulate you guys. Well, you don't need to emulate anything because you're creating your own pathway and that's really what we're all doing. And there's times where I know that I call you like, Chris, I can't do it anymore. And you're like, let's get on the phone. That's really what our whole community is about. It's um, identifying things that are holding us back and finding a way to get over it. Because I always talked to Emily and I said, Emily, you do not understand what a superstar you are. So let's start thinking differently because if we're struggling with it, that means everybody's struggling with it. What's personal is universal, right? So, um, what I also think is cool is once we got up here on Zoom and I moved to Atlanta after GovCon and everything else, we started doing this and you're like, you very carefully said, Jenny, I need to make you look better on, on the screens. And I said, what do you mean? What do you mean? And he said, well, he didn't say, Jenny, you're looking old or you're looking fuzzy or anything like that. He said, I, I got this kit and I've been meaning to put it together and I'm going to send it to you. Well, he kept saying he was going to send it to me. And I'm like, you just need to go on Amazon and give me all the links so I can order exactly what you want because I do not like to shop. I don't like to comparison. I just like, if somebody says this is going to improve your life, I just hit the button and I go. Don't waste time. So this is what I looked like before, Chris. <laughs> She's like, uh-oh. Sad. Now, he put the light <laughs> up, gave me a good camera, and it makes a lot of difference because what we don't realize is how often we're sitting in the dark and we're not presenting ourselves with our, our full energy. Yeah. And um, everybody before the podcast or before the session was showing what light they've got and how they're doing it. That's why Chris is so helpful because you actually came up with 
the I Am Your Camera Guy video kit. And we're going to be giving away a couple of those as people register for GovCon Summit. Do you mind going over what that is and how it works? Is that it behind you? No, that's, oh, no, that is definitely <laughs> not that kit. Not that kit. But basically, the kit is a, a, a video, a webcam with a ring light on a stand, a little carrying bag, and a lapel microphone that you could connect with your USB. So one of the things I've learned through video is good audio. You need to have some good audio. People could tolerate an OK image, but if they have some good audio to listen to, because it's just something about the ear, just listen. That's why podcasts are so cool. Um, but if you have bad audio, nobody's not going to listen to your show. So um, well, I'm it's glad you brought that up because like to, I don't, I don't think I ever figured out how to hook up the the microphone. So I'll have to go. I've yeah. got like this box of all this gear that I don't know how to use because I don't like to read instructions. The other thing you sent me is this <laughs> extender thing, and um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's um, it says U Green, and I, I guess I plug in extra USBs into that. Yes, there's a there's a definitely another port where if you are limited. So if you have a Mac, if you're in a Mac world, there's some ports you can buy to give you a couple more USB because there is a USB for the webcam, then there's a USB for the for the uh, the actual microphone, and then you know the light itself just plugs in straight in. But uh, we between just helping Jenny. And you know, it took some time because I was like, uh, I say, like, hey Jenny, like let's let's make some adjustments. And between us, we develop the kit, and uh, I will share the link. Um, oh on yeah, the, on the chat. So if you're interested, uh, it's a good place to start. It's um, and it, it's, you know it's not for everybody. So if you like it, uh, definitely click the link, and you could go there through Amazon um, and, and purchase a, a kit. webcam is better than the camera on your Mac. It depends. It depends on which version of Mac. So right now, just to be honest, I'm using my iMac um, uh, with this camera with some lighting to help the conditions. Because if I turn off these lights, it gets really dark in here. Uh, but the webcam, I think, is a little bit better than the cam that's in your, your MacBook or your Windows laptop because you have a little bit more control over it. And then also, you could do other things to it if you want to create videos. So you don't need to go out if you're just doing sessions like this and you want to just create some quick content, you can just throw your webcam on and just click it into QuickTime Movie or your Windows player and you could create a short video or, you know, if you have your lapel and you want to use like Keynote and create a little slide deck, you know, five, 10 minutes. And it just gives you a chance to get the barriers and the obstacles out of the way of creating content. And I think that's what a lot of people struggle with is they get so focused around the kit, but it's really not the kit, it's the content, what you're saying, it's your story. It's, it's what you're trying to convey the message. Well, you're right. It's like, I wanna be able to hop on and do something easy without thinking of it because the ones, the best ideas I have are when I wake up in the morning and, and just think, oh my gosh, I just had this vision of doing this and I'll sit down and write out, you know, five or six things that I wanna do and then I can hop on and I can put out a lot, I can record about, in about 30 minutes, I could report cord, you know, 20 or 30 little clips. And that's really made a difference because we're all learning how to use our social media presence. The other thing I really like about this ring light is it has a place if I want to use my um, iPhone instead, I can do that. So what you gave me is very versatile from that standpoint. Yeah. Um, the other thing yeah. is I've been wearing this headset because I just thought Russ looked so cool with his. Russ, show him your headset. <laughs> Um, you know, some of this is props. And um, I was on a, a podcast the other day with Carmen Disco, and I said, hey, that's pretty cool. He said, it's not even plugged in. I just do it for effect. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> so um, the other reason I'm on today with um, my head like this is because Stephen the Findologist sent me this cool hat. And uh, Stephen the Findologist, by the way, he's a part-time ma magician, um, sells promotional products. And he's been on here every single time. And, um, you know, I thought, well, I want to put on this hat just for Steven because he's so thoughtful. So, um, Chris, how about let me get, let you wrap back up and just tell everybody how to um, 
how to get in touch with you and um, what, what other words of wisdom you have for us today. So for contact, the quickest way to get uh -oh, in touch with I can't with... hear. Uh -oh. It might be me? me. It is, Jenny. I can hear you. I think. Can okay. everybody else hear? Yeah. 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 She did something she, with her headphones. She took her heads. There you go. Are you back? Back. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, so the quickest way to get in contact with me is on LinkedIn. You can search me, Chris McPhee, Chris Smurf McPhee on LinkedIn or search the hashtag I'm your camera guy. So that's that's the quickest way to get a hold of me. I'm on LinkedIn often and just partying way. Uh, everybody, I have enjoyed uh, being a part of this community. I just want to tell everybody on here. I edit all these videos every week and just the knowledge I get from listening to every guest that comes on the show and I, and I was thinking about that this morning. That's the coolest thing I like about being on Team Solvability. I mean, I every time I hear government contracting, I was like, come on over here. I know I got 10 people you need help with. So it's, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Thank you, Jenny, once again for having me.